all right guys well we're out here been out here honestly for hours but it's been uh, a while since we've been to this particular body of water and as you guys may have known we've just had a ton of water dumped on us over the past few weeks even supposed to rain today and throughout the next week or two so this lake has actually rose uh, 17 plus feet and kind of just trying to figure out exactly where the fish are now it's definitely a little bit different than what we're used to as the fish are set up in different areas so kind of fish some of the traditional ways paddle tails uh, trying some jerk baits other things as well but we haven't really been having any luck until Jerry right here uh, we decided to kind of come to the dam and try to work here before as we've historically caught fish but catching some fish on the slip bobber Jerry is right here got that walleye and a smallie on the slip bobber here pretty quickly so that's a lot of the action that we've had all day besides the baby Walter I caught back there. So. Oh wow, second I dropped that in there guys. I just missed a nice fish too. Got me a smiley. Yours too. No, hold it. Yours is getting pulled down too. Yours was just down dude. I just saw it. Nice smallmouth, guys. Moving a new area. Just when I said, just when I'm over here saying, is it a good fish? <laughs> just when I'm over here saying. <laughs> Ooh, pretty nice, nice smolly. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Double smollies. <laughs> All right, guys. Camera was off. We're hooked up. Probably a small smolly. Is my guess. Or a medium. Oh, it's a nice smolly. Come on. Oh, they're growing. Just as I'm taking off my pants. You guys played that game a few times, guys. Oh. Got him. There we go. Smally. Oh, feels like it. Come up here, little bud. Oh, come on. Four pound line, come on. Oh, they're getting bigger. Oh, don't come off. Oh, don't come off. Oh, Jerry, you better get this fish. Holy crap, I'm gonna come up right here, right here, right here. Yeah, boy. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. Shout out to Jerry, guys. Oh, yeah. This dude put us on some fish. Like I said, though, it was it was a, a group work here, guys. We kind of finally started marking some fish. Hadn't really marked any fish all morning. Started marking a few. We got our freaking first uh, nice, nice smallie of the day. Right there on corner. Oh my god, it just came right out, dude. Wasn't even in there. That is why you keep pressure on your fish. Oh my gosh. That thing was barely even in there. Oh crap. There we go. Oh, there we go. What do we got here? <laughs> Just like extend the net out. <laughs> okay, what do we got nice here? Small day. Ooh, all on the Kestrel Elite. Oh, it's a walleye, my first walleye. My first walleye of the day. Actually, no, I caught a little micro walleye earlier. We'll take it. First walleye on slip bobber. Well, like I was saying, I haven't really fished the slip bobber as much. So uh, as Jerry's done before, he's just gonna quickly uh, show us how we're rigging this puppy up. So right here, he's got all the basics. Kind of just set it up, got the, the bobbers, you gotta walk us through it. 
All what's right. the what's the steps? So first thing, you pretty much get your bobber stop. Put your bobber stop through. All right. And this is going to set the depth of your bobber. stop is on the line right there and then is that a bead comes with a little bead all right bobber stop to a bead we're gonna go thread the bobber stop on and from there we're gonna go to a pinch weight Wait. Throw that on there, and then your preferred hook. So we got a little mosquito. It's an octopus hook. And we're just gonna do a regular knot. Here's the finished slip bobber setup. We got a hook. To a little pinch weight and then you got the bobber and then you got the bobber stop so what I do to get a quick reference is my arm length is about five five and a half feet so I'll use it as a five foot reference I'll grab the pinch weight or the bobber stop I'll go five feet And we're set at 14, so we want to do 12. So I'll pull about another two feet off. And then that should be a quick reference of how we get down to the depth we want to be at. <coughs> what did it say? Oh! Let's go! Let's go, boy! Oh! I can never tell. I don't know if it's big or not. I ain't know how I feel, all right? I don't know. Oh, it's good. Get him up, dude. Oh, get him up. That's a good one. That's a big Walter right there. Hold that sucker up. Oh. See, guys, like I said, you sit here and you weed through all these fish. You catch a good one. Another nice walleye right there. Slip bobber setup beautiful fish guys just to clarify guys i mean like we said i mean this is a slip bobber so basically what you could do is i mean you can adjust your depth so i mean you could fish basically wherever you're marking fish in the column so since we're marking those fish close to the bottom that's why jerry said we're fishing in that 14 foot range oh, geez. dude oh no that was a small he came off damn it he did no! <coughs> what a hook set! Finally! What a hook set! Oh crap! Oh, it's a nice smallie! Where is he? Oh, what the? He just dodged the net! Oh, there we go. Yeah! Smally Smackdown. Oh, what? Well, you got a craw in there. Look at that. He's got a craw. For, oh, and two hooks. What do you mean two hooks? It's my fish? Yes. Oh, my gosh. That's and a craw. Crazy. Look at that. He has a fucking craw in his mouth. Guys, this fish was eating so hardcore. Look, he's got a, look, he's got a hook right here from somebody else. He's got a crawfish down his throat, and <laughs> I just broke off on a fish. That's my hook right there, right next to Jerry's. Literally fish, same exact hook. These fish are hammering down. Come on, this could be it. This could be the moment. Oh, there it is. Oh, I was like looking at yours. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh. There we go. Oh, see, this is way better drag. I should have been using this the whole time. <laughs> oh, this is so much better than the other one. I feel way more secure, too. Oh, my oh God, did you see it? Yeah. What? Ah, it's because I beasted him up. My bad. Oh, I feel like secure with this. I should have been using this the whole time. <laughs> nice. And that was my first fish on this uh, Kestrel right here. Thanks to Cast King. Nice. Swimming with it. It's a better one. All right. Oh, you got wrapped up in mine. We got us a mess. No, wait. Are we good? Did he eat both of ours? That's a heavy fish. Look at the belly. That thing's feeding up. <laughs> All right, I really want to try to catch it on this crappie shed. But it just sucks because they're low in the calm is what it seems. And normally that fish is pretty high. Oh, I got one. <laughs> just when I said. Oh, on a crappie shed, on the BFS. Let's go, crappie shed. You digging it? <laughs> yeah. Crappie shed. Damn, look at his belly. I didn't know. This might have been the same one we just got. Ouch. Doubles. Almost. Got them on the crappy shed, guys. I was just saying, I don't know if it's possible because most of these ones we're catching are pretty deep. Not that bad, 14 feet, but that one came in like two, three feet. There you go. Ooh, that's a nice one. Oh, he came off. Oh no! Oh, I'm nice too. Damn, for the doubles. Did he grab you? What the hell? Oh, it's a nice walleye. Whew. I need the net, Jer. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> nice walleye. I couldn't catch a walleye last time, so now this I gotta touch this one. It's pretty really cool to be able to fish like this. It is. Thank it's God you got the poncho. Yeah. <laughs> got one. Oh, it's a pretty good one too. Oh, it's a nice molly. Got us a nice smallie in the rain, guys. Please don't come off. Oh, this is a good fish. Please don't come off. Oh, it's a walleye. Woo -hoo -hoo. Rain Walter. So rain Walter, guys, we're gonna get him out of here. I'm so pissed. <laughs> I would have been so comfortable with my raincoat. I would have been so comfortable. It is a raincoat day. All right, dear. Say what's up. Oh, wait up. What's going on, dear? It's raining. Yeah, We're still catching them, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just the diehards. Oh, I got one. I got one. <laughs> We're out here. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> nice! It's a good time for a video. Oh! Bevels! They love the rain! <laughs> they love the rain! <laughs> oh, they love it. 
Oh! Nice one. That's a nice one. Oh, I got one too! My bad, I thought you were... I thought, I thought you were talking about my fish! Oh! Oh, dude, that's the best one! Dude, that's, that's the best one of the day right there! Let's go! In the rain! Best bass of the day! And it doubles, guys! Alright, guys, well, it's absolutely coming down out here, but me and Jerry just got a sick double up right here. Jerry got one of the more quality smallmouth bass that I've seen out of this uh, particular reservoir right now. So, pretty healthy one. I got just a normal little dude right here. We're going to show them both to you guys. Healthy. I just got this little dude right here. Yeah. Beast. <laughs> Beast. For the size comparison, you can see, guys. Look at that size comparison. There we go. That's a nice fish right there, guys. Quality smallmouth. That's why you stay in the rain, guys. That's why you stay out here and get soaked. Yeah. I forgot my raincoat. I'm in flip-flops. We're soaked, but it's worth it. Very worth it. Yeah. yeah.